Hi, I'm Simon at the uh, Home Show here in Perth and welcome to uh, some inspiration here of the Seashell by Tiny Homes Perth. Uh, as you can see, basically it's a home on wheels. And what we show here is a little bit of inspiration through various types of cladding. So as you can see here, we've used some, some great uh, Blue Scope Colourvon material, uh, corrugated iron, and then we also then use uh, what we call Inspire clad. So this is uh, specific to Tiny Homes Perth, we've designed that ourselves. So it allows us to uh, construct it horizontally, vertically, or even diagonally with what we do. The dimensions of the, uh, of the seashell is 6.8 metres in length, 2.5 metres in width, and approximately 3.6 metres in height. Uh, rules and regulations allow us to uh, go a little higher, but this particular uh, ins inspired tiny home um, is, as I say, 3.6 metres. Uh, the tiny home itself, uh, again, has a um, 15 amp power point there, which basically is enough power to uh, power up with what we do. Chassis-wise, uh, this particular um, inspired tiny home is up to 3.5 tonne, which allows basically traditional uh, vehicles such as a Ranger, Colorado, etc., to actually be able to tow it. From a towing point of view, we have electric brakes. Um, as you can see, we have gas uh, setup, up, uh, and we also then on each corner have stabilizers, which allow us to get that to each level. So come on in, guys, and we'll, uh, we'll have a look. Watch your step there. So inside the seashell, uh, it's what I like to say a fairly co compact home, but again, uh, the longer you sit in here, the more you realise it's actually got everything of a traditional home. So if we look down at the end here, which is down towards our TV, so what we have with our TV, so first of all, we'll have a look at some cupboard space. We have a his and hers cupboard space, left and right hand side, which basically give us hanging as well as some shelving space. And what we like to show then is what we have hidden behind our TV there is then typically our Murphy style fold down bed. Now obviously because of the dimensions of a tiny home it is all about a little bit of moving around therefore we move our couch around to then allow it to basically be a fully folded down bed. Uh, and again the inspiration for this particular home is to try to separate it as a separate room as a living space to a bedroom space. Quite simply do it with one finger which allows you then to basically push that back into position with what we do from there. Living area, living area, again, suitable space, doing some recessing into the wall just to try to give some inspiration to some, uh, for some furnishing to make it your own home with what you do. Coming into the kitchen, we've given it a full, full size kitchen. Again, traditionally, drawers, soft clothes. Again, very similar to that of a traditional home. We've got a two burner gas hot plate I'm sure we don't need too much more than, than that in a, in a house of this size. Obviously staying in tune with everything, we have a USB charger, so it allows it to basically be used. And then we have a, just a nice contemporary sink here, um, the tapware and picture window throughout. Fridge, fridge wise, this is a full size fridge itself, it is relatively small, but again, um, it comes down to an individual as to exactly what they would like to use. Dining table. Dining table again, a little bit, a bit, bit of inspiration there coming off from the um, from the bed itself. We use some ply there, and as you can see at this point, there is a pivot point just here, which allows that to actually drop down and out of the way. Tables, uh, chairs, I should say, are stackable, so again, um, ease to uh, put to one side. But again, I'm sure you agree that you can get three or four people around that if you were to have a few people over for, for dinner. Then we go through to our bathroom. Through to a bathroom, full size shower, vanity, and toilet. And depending on the situation, is whether you would have a traditional uh, toilet or you'd consider then a compost or a chemical toilet uh, based on uh, your, your situation and indeed where you would put it from there. Generous power points throughout, LED lighting, so the power drawer itself is, is quite small. The flooring is laminated, it's actually a PVC which actually allows you to spill water etc without ruining any form of the floor. And as you would need with every caravan you do need a fire extinguisher as part of the act which is the rules into what we construct. Overall the internal of the building we've used a plasterboard finish 
Um, we've constructed in such a way to minimise or to actually negate any of the cracking that may happen during, uh, during the forms of transport. The towing ability of the, of the tiny home is, is beautiful, runs very well. Um, electric brakes obviously assist that um, and uh, to the destination of which you choose to live. Uh, I guess traditionally a tiny home isn't one that you would uh, hitch up each weekend um, to take on holiday, but something that you would take for a longer period of time. So overall, Tiny Homes Perth are here at the Perth Home Show to offer some inspiration for those that wish to build their own tiny home um, and we can give some advice um, during the course of the weekend. Thank you.